Hi, Christy in the Rady Kitchen, and today I want to share how to make these cute, adorable racket dogs. It's a perfect little treat for a 4th of July party or Memorial Day, and it's really simple. What you need is a container of unbaked breadstick dough, and some hot dogs, some skewers, uh, you want to soak these in water so they don't burn in the oven, and then a block of cheese. So first we'll put our hot dog on the skewer. So with your hot dog, and again you want to make sure you soak that skewer in water for about 10 minutes, but you're just going to run the pointed end of the skewer all the way through and you'll want to leave about an inch on the top to put your little cheese triangle on. Now I like to take the dough and put it just to secure it so when it bakes it doesn't shrink. And I like to leave space but if you want to put it on close that's fine too. I kind of like the hot dog to show through. Kind of gives it that spiral effect. And then wrap it around the stick and then put it on an ungreased baking sheet. And you'll want to preheat the oven to 375 degrees or you might want to look on your breadstick packaging at what they suggest to bake them at. And these are only going to take about 10 minutes. So I placed my hot dogs wrapped with the breadsticks. Um, I'm using the Rada cookie sheet. This is really handy and not only makes cookies, but you can do foods like this. Um, you could do frozen foods like french fries and fish sticks. Um, so we're going to put these in the oven for 10 minutes. So while the hot dogs are in the oven, we're going to make the little cheese triangles for the top of the rocket. I'm going to use this Rada cheese slicer. It slices hard cheese, it slices soft cheese like Velveeta. Um, the great thing about it is it has these little holes so when you cut the cheese it allows air to get in there so that piece slides off and it doesn't stick back on the other cheese. So I have my little pattern piece and I'm just going to, as you can see that cheese knife is easily slices through this harder cheese. Oh, another unique thing about this is on the end here it has this little fork so you could lay it out on a cheese tray and use that forked end to put the cheese on your plate. So our rocket dogs are baked and now we're ready to put on the tr cheese triangle. And now to make them really cute, I like to take curling ribbon and tie it to the bottom. And the rocket dog is ready to serve. It's a really cute, impressive treat. All your guests will enjoy it and have a good 4th of July.